Hello everyone, I'm Marco and welcome to my channel. Last week I reached 5,000 subscribers which is crazy considering that I make these videos in my spare time which is, to be honest, quite little. I have a full time job and I work from Mondays to Fridays so it gives me just enough time to make videos on the weekends. I've had a lot of feedback from you guys, thank you so much for your kind words and support, it really means a lot. I do my best to read all of the comments that you write and I've noticed that quite a few of you have asked me to include more footage of the processes of the making of my figures. So today I want to do something different, something special to thank each and every one of you. I've decided to make a 10 minute video showing you all the processes and materials I use during the making of my figures. So you can consider this as a how-to video or a tutorial. So sit back and relax and enjoy my video. So I always start by making a scale drawing of the dinosaur I want to make. Just a quick sketch to get a good idea of the proportions of the animal. Many artists use Super Sculpey, Monster Clay, but I find those to be a bit too expensive for these kind of figures. So I find the cheapest way is to make some sort of internal skeleton and then use epoxy putty to sculpt. So what I've done in the video now is I got some iron wire, laid it down on the drawing, bent it into shape and I'm blocking out the shapes with masking tape. So I've never really met anyone that uses this kind of technique but I sort of use it like clay. I get a bit of tape, roll it up and then just pop it down wherever it needs more volume. So you've got to kind of think of it as two halves. At the moment I'm doing the left side so you don't want to make it too fat because then you're gonna to have to flip it over and basically replicate what you've done on the left side back onto the right. Here I'm rolling up some tape. I'm sort of making a little noodle of tape. Uh, so the sticky part remains outside, so you can just shape it however you want, put it down on the drawing, and then just build shapes around it. I do the legs and arms separately, as well as the head. You basically need to repeat what you did for the body, really. Just build up the shapes with the tape and make sure you have a lot of reference pictures. Can't see it in the video but I've got a bunch of pictures from uh, Dress Part 3, the film, and Dress World Evolution which looks great to be honest. I haven't played it yet but uh, who knows, maybe sometime in the future. I rolled a little bit more tape for the head. I just did a little V shape and uh, filled it up a little bit with some more tape. So it kind of looks like a cone. You want to do the same thing for the bottom jaw but a bit thinner. Make sure not to make it too fat, because remember you're gonna be covering it with epoxy putty, so allow at least um, a mil or two, maybe, in thickness. So now comes the fun part. Milliput epoxy putty is what I use, but you can get epoxy sculpt, I guess, which is exactly the same. Uh, it works in the same way, it's a two-part epoxy putty. You just get the two parts, mix them together, and you've got about an hour to sculpt before it starts getting rubbery and then eventually rock hard. If you can't really pick up what I'm doing on the video, you can just pause it or just slow it down in the YouTube player settings. The main tool I'm using is basically a paintbrush, but I modified it by sharpening the end pencil sharpener. You don't really need fancy tools, you can use, use whatever to sculpt to be honest. If I can use my fingers, I'd use my fingers and my hands, especially if I need to sculpt something big. I don't really like using tools that much. Anyway, to make the eye cavities and the fenestre in the skull, you can use something round like the end of a paintbrush again, but not sharpened, um, and just press it in. And to make the eye just roll a tiny little ball of epoxy and just insert it into the orbit. Okay, now texturing. So after having covered the whole figure with epoxy putty, you can texture it using a bunch of different things. I usually use an old towel. Just press it in so it picks up all the nice detail and texture. 
On the neck I'm carving some lines which will become those big crocodilian like scales or scoots that the Spinosaurus has. I'm also adding some creases and folds in the skin behind the jaw, by the neck, around the arms eventually and just by the legs and at the base of the tail. To make the animal look strong and powerful, you really want to make those muscles stand out. So grab your round pointed tool so you can carve two lines on the thigh to create those powerful thigh muscles. Here I'm making the calf muscle stand out. You want to get a blob of epoxy putty and just put it on the calf and then just add a couple of lines in there as well. Here I'm sculpting the bird like scoots on the feet. I'm doing that by just pressing the point of my tool repeatedly all along the length of the toes and the foot. Just adding some extra texture there by sculpting some lines in to replicate skin. Just repeat what you did for the feet onto the hands. Obviously the shape is a bit different. I must say that the trickiest part of the sculpt is the teeth. They can become really, really fiddly. I roll the epoxy putty into a point and then just press it down between the edge of the lip and the gums. I use water-based acrylic paint. The base colour is brown. Then I add layers of dry brushing. These layers are red, white, yellow and grey. And then a light blue on the sail.
So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much again for your support. And if you like this video, rate and subscribe if you want to, and see you in the next one. By the way guys, make sure you check out Jurassic World Exodus. It's a Jurassic fan film shot in Hawaii, which is the location of the original Jurassic Park film and Jurassic World. The producer, Gregory Wong, got in contact with me about a month ago, asking me if I could make a raptor head puppet for his film. So I accepted, and uh, the film is out on the 30th of July, and make sure you check it out, because it's going to be great. I made a raptor head puppet before, and uh, it's featured on my channel, so you can check that out too if you like. For more information, you can find the Jurassic World Exodus page on Instagram, and you can subscribe to Gregory's YouTube channel. Link is in the description below.